the Sanrio. They, it's 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 war, civil yeah. war. It's I mean, been a long time. <laughs> like long not time. to mention they have. Not to mention is that um, Sanrio has has been has been around for just forty years. Um, Disney has to do with almost a hundred years, and and of course they have to deal with something called the public domain. But, Disney is buying everything, so no. Yeah, but like I said, they, they, they have to give up. They have to give up maybe one way or another. The thing is, is that um, oh, well, I'm getting a little a little off topic, but but well, we'll hey, if Disney and Warner Brothers can do a crossover in uh, Roger Rabbit, why can't oh, that? Well, it's it's like licensing issues of some sort, so you have you have to keep that in mind. The, um, time because um, thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, because um. I know, I know, and, and I know, like those um, companies actually like license, license Disney products to, to create video games, of some sort, SquareSoft, Capcom, you name it. And then, of course, is that um, Kemco also tried to do the same thing, but did not, thankfully, because some of the Kemco properties they license suck. <laughs> but, but I'm getting a little off topic, so let's go on, shall we? And we're going to the secretary, Washibi. Yeah. yeah. And it's ironic because um, there's something ironic about her. What is it? She's a secretary of work. Yes. Yeah. And? She's the secretary at work. And? Secretary of social life. She's trying to keep everything in line no matter what. No, there's something, there's something about, about, about Secretary Washimi that, that really, that really uh, throws, throws some people off. No! <laughs> of course she has feathers, but that's not what I'm talking about. Nope. There's a snake. Uh, there's a reptile in the. Wait, wait. What did you say? What? What was that you said? Secret boss. Thank you. Yes, because um, they, um, if you if you take take a closer look at some uh, one of the episodes, is that Washimi is actually more um more competent than the than the actual CEO. Uh, like yeah. she she could actually. That's why. Yeah, she could actually like act like the secretary of state. Um. <laughs> in it, I don't want to say it, but I might, I might get a little too political, but we'll go there later. <laughs> I'll see you for president. Yes, uh, I Yeah, yeah, we know. But um, like I said, she asks kids to have like stupid idea, like making make a freaking um so so sober machine for for every every cubicle office. Like I don't know what how much how much they would stand to lose if it actually go through. It's like trying to put the Olympics in 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 in, in, in um. In, uh, what was uh, shoot? What was that city name in, um, in, in Russia? Moscow. Sochi. No, um, the Winter Olympics in the Sochi. 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 Thank you. Oh, that's uh, yeah. No, I've heard crazy ideas from Palo Alto. Did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like everyone had bad water. Oh, yep. The electricity was out in all the hotels. And now we're going to go to the to, to the other characters. We're going to go with Subone. Ah. 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 Let me let me ask you this. Um, she's not a decent supervisor. Is she? Like, okay, so. If it comes in my house, I kill it. It's like my mom's boss. My mom's boss yells at everything. Yeah, but like I said, I mean, um, that's she made it. it um, Retsuko actually made an interesting point at that. Um, that that why is she she getting all the leftover work while she while while she she while she she complains about her mistakes, which is really interesting. It's like. Like typically, it's it's supposed to be the supervisor who gets more most of the work than the than than, than Retsuko. Um, Retsuko's trying to come on by for five freaking years. I mean, you don't know how how hard it is to work work, work like that for five years and not not get a single promotion or something. Okay, and it's second to last. Chief uh, Mia. Oh. The right hand man. He's more of a one kisser than the theorist. <laughs> well, I, I, I heard he was like, uh, he, he was worse than, um, yeah, what, yeah, you're right. She's worse than, he's worse than a gazelle, but like I said, um, you briefly see him a bit, but all, all he is, he's like a like right hand man. Unlike the next character, which we'll probably go into. Uh, Everyone grab your pitchforks. <laughs> yeah. Bacon. Unfortunately, I, I can't show I can't show Tan Chan's pickles, so I'm gonna put pick something 
pick something more, more suitable. <laughs> So, what do you think about my substitute picture instead of showing Tan Chan? Because I think Tan Chan is inappropriate to show on this panel. I think I made a great picture of myself. Accurate AS. Okay. No, I like Tan better. I like Tan better. I made an executive order that I have to show my picture to front front of the Repsco panels. So, unfortunately, you can't change that. Um, my, my, my pick is final. Um, you could try to go to Congress, but Congress won't, won't let you approve it. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, anything you want to add... Unfortunately, you can't because, ha ha ha, I have my dicks. So, I'm going to make things great again. I'm going to make the company great again. And what you can do... <laughs> and, <laughs> you do that too well. <laughs> of course, you know, I've always liked to... I always like to cringe a lot of people, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you guys want me to take this down? Please. Yes. Yes. I, need, I need overwhelming support, please. Yes. Okay, okay, I'll take it down. <laughs> but still, <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, but we'll get to that. But, um, but anyway, um, my gosh, content is too relevant to what we have today, isn't it? Well, I feel like he's a little better at least. Because it's like, at least you can kind of understand where he's coming from at some point. I mean, he's still an a hole, but. He's lit, yeah, even though he's down. Down. He's golfing! That's more than we can say. Well, yeah, the thing is. Um, wait, hold on. I, 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 gotta, I gotta fool myself not, not to make any bad impersonation noise anymore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's like pretty much the, the, all the characters on the on Red Scope, on the Red Scope thing. So for, for for the next thirty minutes, we're actually going to discuss like the like the first few episodes of, of Red Scope. So how many of you guys actually comp uh, how many of you guys have yet to watch watch Red Scope? Oh, okay, there'll be like I said, there'll be minor spoilers. How many of you guys actually watch the whole thing? Okay, so we're just going to go halfway points, so you'll be fine. So, so anybody who hasn't watched it yet, you, 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 won't, you won't be hit hard or anything. So the first episode we're going to discuss is obviously is that Retsuko had, had suffered through this, um, this, this process for five years. And the first thing in the morning is that um, she, she did everything she can to try to get to work on time. But there was one thing that, that she, she forgot before, before she went to work. For shoes. For shoes. I don't get how, I guess it's a Japanese thing, to like have your work shoes at work. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more like hygiene, hygienic or some sort, because I, I remember that. They, 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 they do it with yeah, us. Versus us, who all wear the shoes in the house. Yeah, so we don't yeah, really this, is, this is completely shoes. different from. Yeah, it's yeah this is. Yes. It's kind of like in school where you have to switch your normal shoes with uh, slippers. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, the thing is, is that this is a culture that um that's completely different from ours. Yeah, and they actually make a real fuss about it, and in, in, um especially to tourists, tourists, because like I said, we're not we're not really familiar with that. We always just like where where are shoes all day and stuff. Yeah. But but I have to defend her one thing about Retsuko about her her, her style of shoes, Crocs with socks. I don't care. It is convenient. I don't care if it's lazy, I don't care if it's unfathomable or unfashionable, but dang it, Crocs with socks. I don't care what people think. Now, cro oh, now socks with sandals? That's a different story, but Crocs with socks. Socks and sandals ruin Soldier 76. Oh my, oh my gosh. In addition, is that, of course, is that, um, Red Skulls is, is like, the, like the bottom of the barrel, and she has to serve, serve, um, punch out with the, with the with the with the tea, cleaning up the things and all that stuff. Yep, that is the first time you actually see her go on a rage. Yeah. And of course, you have to see about Sunoda um, making making a fuss about about the um, shoes. Yep, fuss about the shoes, the gossip, you name it. Yep, and of course, let's go on to the second episode. Yeah, I, I don't have the clips. Uh, I try, I try to get as much as I can, but I couldn't. I don't, I, I don't really have that clip. I have to borrow from somebody to watch it. 
but I got Hulu. I watch um, Nate Sama. I watch Amaki Brilliant Park. But second episode is that uh, she gets irritated by the shopkeeper, and all she bought is socks. Oh yeah. And, and then her girlfriend shows up. Yes, supposedly, and um, and she thought about it, try, trying to trying trying to escape escape from the from the from the work grind of some sort. But what was the big big um big impact that she realized about about her cool friend? Anybody want to take a guess? Yes. The shop. Yes, the shop, but be more specific. Um, me? Uh, her friend uh, Tim Schwartz. Yes, but there was... But she's, at, she's her own boss, so she doesn't have to deal with paperwork or anything stressful from the job she's in now. Yeah, but there was one factor that pretty much um, broke her heart. Oh, my. Yeah, right there. Um, she can stand up for herself, like her friend, right? No, no, I'm saying that there was one thing that actually, there was one factor that actually broke Retsuko's heart. Yes? It was an online startup that needed to get off the ground. Oh my gosh. How many of you guys heard about these so-called online startups? How many of you guys actually hear about like, um, oh, I'm just doing an internet thing, a startup of some sort, and we're going to do, we're going to do great things and, and start big. It was fairly common in the late 90s when, when the internet boom was, was, was coming by. And of course, the retail, online retail thing is supposed to be kind of thing. And unfortunately, there are, there are so, supposedly um, so called these online shops that are supposed to make it big, but it turns out to be crap. Talk kind of crap. Oh my gosh. I mean, um, uh, we could also talk about Amazon, but that's, uh, let's not do that. I think what they had in mind was like an Etsy store. And yeah, it sounded yeah. more like that. Yeah, but like I said, that was like one of the. Yeah, but that was like one of the things that broke her heart. She thought it was like a brick and mortar store that she could probably pop in, like you see in a, we see in like an Akira bar or like some sort. But what she had in mind was like a small mom and pop store. Yeah, that's what I just said. That's like, what brick and mortar means. Which would, have, which would be the physical world equivalent to like an Etsy store. Which, um, which eventually the boss actually find out, but we'll go back in episode three. In episode three, the gossip girl, the the, go the gossip girl actually um actually find out about uh, 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 about her, her her rumors, and she she made a big um let's say a big mistake about what she she thinking. Um, what was that big mistake she was she was claiming? No, no, no. That's that's later on. Before that. What's up? Ah, no, no, no. Before, um, before that. Um, yes. No, she wasn't. Um, it wasn't that. Um, well, in the third episode, is that she was she she was ex she was like excited about thinking about going to that store, but then um, but because um, Kabaye was like um was being a little gossipy of some sort about her, her, um, her excitement or her shuddering. She, Retsuko, defended herself by saying, oh, it's, it's just constipation. After, after, after five days, I actually, um, actually got relief. And then, the, and then the gossip, and then this happened. Oh. the Chinese whisper or the Chinese letter. Can you can you explain to me what, what that is? Yep. That's 
that's what actually happened. I was like, oh, yep, it's gonna happen. Some, somebody will change the story to the point that uh, that it, 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 it will go well out of out of hand. There was like a famous Simpsons episode where they find out that um that the that the teachers were making out and it it and it's and it ends up well, wait, I'm saying something like that. Oh, <laughs> I thought that how it goes like. I can't reveal it because you, you gotta you gotta watch it yourself. That was that was freaking funny. And unfortunately, is that because of this this um no nonsense, um, they find out that um she she's frustrated at work. So instead of um, but be, being Tan Tan Chan being being Tan Chan, he decided to call him Hey Short Tiger or some sort of blah blah blah. Oh my gosh, do you know how degrading that was to to, to get through that? So. Because of his stress, um, what, did she, what did she do besides karaoke that tries to get, get into, um, you know, relief? Yoga. Yes! And what was significant about the instructor? Protein! Protein! Protein. <laughs> I thought he was a Pokemon at first, he tell you the truth. <laughs> Called Protein. <laughs> Go Protein! 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 That's actually a it's funny that they, they actually understand him. It's, it's, it's some people actually understand him in the in the, in the process. And of course, is that when she when um when she went to the when she, when she went to the to the yoga class, guess who she walked walked into? The two Vishnu and Gori. Yes. And who who else probably knew about 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 her yoga classes? Oh, her friend. Friend. Yes. From an Instagram picture. <laughs> Out of all around. places of, of, of another account. It's, it's hard to believe, like, oh my gosh, they, they all know about the, about the process. So yes, they, they actually um, get, to, get to talk to each other, and of course, um, got to go try, try to back down on it. And then, um, unfortunately, she got, she, she got dragged into the place, and, and of course, it is, they drag her to, to do a hang around, and it was probably the last place on earth where she, they brought, had to brought, bring her to. What was the last place she ever thought about going to? How many guys say karaoke? No, it was, it was a karaoke bar. So, so unfortunately she, she, uh, she 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 stuck with the with the with the coworkers for a few hours, and this is what happened. Somebody had to make a secret code. You okay? Okay.
Out of context. Out of context. like the, the first five episodes of it. I guess we have a little more time. So um so let's see. Um who wants to talk about her date? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. We'll we'll discuss about her, her date. Um Retsuke, right? Is that how you <laughs> Red Satsuke? Yeah, Red Satsuke. Yeah, the thing is is that um Red Satsuke is a uh, <laughs> yes, he is a space cadet, and he always makes these mistakes of some sort, but the thing is, is that um, he's trying his best. But the problem is, is that um, if you notice that what, what they discuss is that um, he's supposedly an herbivore. Oh my gosh. This is, this is what, um, oh wait, how many of you guys don't know the term herbivore? Okay. No, um, herbivore is like supposedly like the... Um, these these um these guys who, who's not interested in dating and try try to be like calm and gentle or some sort like the beta male someone like a beta male some sort and of course is that um well not not yeah not literally urban four is like yeah okay yeah so that's that's like that's like that's like irritating you're not gonna believe this but it's actually irritating the prime minister of Japan because of, because of the lack of birth rates and the grain and the grain of Japan it's really it's really interesting I mean. There were reports that um the 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 popu um the baby population is is gradually decreasing that um that some that some um um hot spring spas actually um equip uh, a, a virtual dating simulator with um Love Plus. Yes, no kidding. Yeah, some some onsens are actually um actually going to virtual virtual datings with um literal um with these um, virtual girlfriends. That's how, that's how bad it came. But, but if you have noticed, is that um, they don't realize is that um, the working population is working so damn hard that they're not even going anywhere in life. I mean, this is, this is like all of us. Oh my gosh, we could all relate to this. I mean, um, like, oh, um, you have not not like us with the baby boomers. Well, well, for your information, baby boomers, is that, um, you had it lucky when the when the war was over. They went through two wars, and they had to save up so much and ration everything that you got all the you got all the prosperity and, and, and do your things. And and we tell us that us millennials are so 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 spoiled of some sort. In reality, is that um yes we have some support spoiled millennials, but most of us is like is is is, is in within Japan. We're str we're struggling to find dates too, and yet not only that is that um. Some some dates, um, some of these. Oh my gosh, it's it's insane. I mean, um, 